Good morning, movers, and welcome to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. It's 2020. Happy New Year to everyone. My goal for us this year is to continue moving daily in our fitness, wellness, and nutrition. That's what this channel is all about. So if you're new, thanks for joining us. All right, your workout today is gonna to be a compound workout, multi-muscle, multi-joint. Your format is 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to rest. Each exercise is gonna have multiple actions, but you're gonna repeat it each for three rounds, so you'll definitely get the hang of it. All right, make sure that you have a variety of dumbbells handy. I'm gonna use a box or bench to step up on as well. I'll also lead you on a warm up, but if you're ready to go, jump to the number at the bottom of the screen, and I'll see you over there. Hey, don't forget to check out our membership. It's already launched. Check the card at the top of the screen and check us out over there. Hopefully, you can join. All right, let's do it. I'm Move Daily. Feet shoulder width apart for your warm up. Let's just start with a little squat overhead reach here. All right, so again, yes, multi muscle, multi joint. Um, it's usually a lower body combined with an upper body something. So sometimes it feels like you're patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time, but um, <laughs> that's why I give you 45 seconds, take it wide here, so that you can figure it out and jump right in. And again, we're repeating for three rounds, so by the third round, you'll feel totally comfortable to go ahead and lift a little heavier, make sure that you're challenging those muscles. All right, two more here. And open, oh yeah, let's do some shoulder circles here. Tap to the side there. Let's warm that up a bit. And switch directions. I hope you all had a great holiday season. Of course, 2020 New Year always brings New Year's resolutions and thoughts about how you'd like to change your body and self for the new year. Okay, take it wide, reach across. I have some goals for myself too. Mine are more business goals, my body and health goals I feel like are on track, so I'm happy about that. All right, reach up and over. Definitely like to do more speaking this year. And I have my first gig booked in Bend, Oregon. So I'm excited to go down there in March. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Let's come up here again. Hey, if you have a company that you want a fitness, wellness, nutrition speaker to come and speak, I'm available. <laughs> it's a thing that I do, so make sure you check out my website for more details on that. Take it wide and open here. Good. Let's go five more right here. Really stretching through that chest. Drop low in your glutes. All right, hands on your shoulder. Let's just rotate here a little bit. Get our torso warmed up. Make sure you're pivoting up onto that toe so you don't twist the knee. Two more here. And keep it really wide. Let's go ahead and touch our toes, warm up those hamstrings. Five more here. Four. Oh, that feels so good in that stretch last year. All right, can we just give the knees some hugs here as our final warm up section? And we'll jump right into we're going to start with a sit squat, narrow and wide with a press. So I'm going to grab my bench, get that handy. Okay, you can start a little lighter round one just for warm up, and then we'll uh, repeat three rounds. All right, let's do it. All right. So we're sitting on your bench. This could just be a squat too if you don't have a bench. You're gonna push wide, then you're gonna bring narrow. Two presses at each time. Ready? Here we go. Wide press and narrow press. Good. Be sure of the, of the box placement so that you don't slip down. Make sure you hit it since you're not looking. See, already heart rate just gets up when you're lifting something above your head like that. You can move into a plie with the bicep curl. Next, upright row. Okay, 10 seconds here. I'll keep my eights for that. Okay. 
Last here. All right, good. Move in the box. Take it super wide and plie. Your low curl, stand upright. So you turn that dumbbell as you ascend. Low curl, upright row. Really try to get down to 90 degrees on the legs here. Okay. Step up, bicep curls next. Bring the box back. Last here. All right. So, moving quickly. I'm putting my box. I'm gonna alternate step ups with a hammer curl, so I'm here. Curl, down, down, switch. Woo! Here we go. Up, curl, down, down. Stay super tall, shoulders back and chest out. Drive through the heel. Push up with an oblique crunch is next. Push up, switch side, back, and push up. to reverse lunge. So I'm holding the weight here. I'm gonna squat, abduct, squat, stay low, lunge, okay? Same side, I'll call halfway. Squat, abduct, squat, reverse, low, up, low, take it back. Just gonna burn up the leg there. Low, up, low, reverse, don't come up. Out of that reverse lunge. Stay low right here, low. All right, switch sides and low abduct, low reverse. We're getting down onto your, our backs. Next for our frog chest press. So I'm quickly grabbing my 20s. On my back, feet together, knees fall apart. I'm gonna chest press and abduct my glute or squeeze up, thrust at the same time. Ready? Press up and up. Hips and dumbbells go up at the same time and touch the ground at the same time. Stay over the chest. Good job, your halfway 20s are definitely challenging. As my heart rate's up. Really squeeze your glutes at the top. All 
All right, nice. Set those down, you're gonna go into a deadlift. Front raise, so I'm just gonna use my eights on that. Deadlift first, then you stand, and front raise here. All right, here it goes, stick your chest out, down. Stand first, pop it up. You wanna make sure you're fully standing, so you don't swing your hips, okay? Now, if you can only do one side at a time, just alternate, that's totally fine. Halfway. We're gonna go into a kneeling glute thrust with an overhead press next. I'm gonna grab my 120, kneel, okay? I'm gonna sit all the way back on my haunches. And then I'm gonna drive forward my hips, press up overhead. Here we go. Low. Push. Watch your face, watch your nose. Have a really good handle on your dumbbell. You could also hold two dumbbells. Okay. Squeeze glutes. Good job, 15 seconds. Little stationary lunge. Lateral raises coming up. The last here, drive. Okay, I'm gonna grab my fives for this one. One leg in front and one behind. As you ascend, arms come up, I'll call half 40. Low, drive, good. Arms just to 90 there, pop, that's it, Whew. good. I was gonna grab my eights, kinda glad I have fives right now. Last one on this side, quickly switch, and low. Pop. We have one more exercise, then we move to repeat. We're gonna do the Monica. Some of you know that. I'll show you quickly. Oh, burn. Okay, I'm gonna grab my 20s for that. It's a squat into a deadlift. So, suitcase squat here. Weights come in front, hips go up. Power the hips forward. Ready? Squat. Front. I'll show you a side view. Squat. Butt. Then drive the hips. Don't let your shoulders collapse. Stick your chest out. Super flat back. Almost there. Nice. Okay. Water break if you need. Join me for circuit number two. Let's go back to the top here with that sit squat, narrow Y combo, okay? Shoulder press at each one, let's start with the narrow, sit super tall, push right through the heels. Ready, let's work, and press up, sit down, take it wide, press, good. It's amazing how much your heart rate can get up without any cardio, hey? I actually quite love, <clears throat> love that kind of workout. Or not, there's no slow impact, no jumping and hopping, but we're breathing heavy at the end. Move into that plie bicep. Okay. 
All right, good. Just move that out of the way. Okay, super wide on your plie. Down and palms up curl, upright row. And let's work. Elbows are high on this. Move into that step up. Hammer curl next. Last here. Good. All right, grab me a box. A little higher this time. Let's get my heart rate up a bit more. Because oh, we're down to push ups after that. Ready? Here we go. Step, curl, alternate steps. Sorry if my head's cutting out here. It might be. using them to give my wrist a neutral position instead of flat on the ground. Always feels a little bit better for my wrists. Stay low on the reverse lunge part, okay? Ready? Here we go. I'll call it half. Abduct, low, reverse, same side. Abduct, low, reverse. All right, switch hands. And legs go. Whoops. Taking it down to the floor with that frog chest press next. I got my twenties for that. Okay, feet in frog, feet together, knees are out. Ready? Everything is up, everything is down. Next. Whew, 
Good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna grab my eights for this deadlift front raise. Deadlift front raise. Shoulders back. Knees are soft. Hinge. Stand first. Pop it here. Everything in your core should be activated when you lift that dumbbell up right here. I want it as still and as tight as you can make it. Because the weights are a bit lighter, it should be able to get down a little bit lower too. Remember you want to paint your shins with the dumbbells. Kneeling squat press. I'm going to grab my 20 for that. Down here. Whew. Overhead press. Hold it up high. Remember, two dumbbells can be used. All right. Hips are back. And push. Stationary lunge, lateral combo. Ten seconds here. Oh, shoulders are hurting. Okay, nice. What else? Grabbing my fives for this. All right, in here. Shoulders back, pelvic tilt. degrees remember drop that back knee low low and last one here I want to switch legs pretty quickly and drop low pop good it snowed so much last night we had like a little blizzard come through. It's very heavy, but it's warm now, so it's very wet and heavy. Slushy little mess out there. Let's go into that Monica. Our last one in round two. Got my 20s for that. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Starting with that suitcase squat. Here we go. Hips up, drive the hips forward. Back is flat the whole time. I'm gonna go right into round three. Break the knee. So you start with that sit squat press. Good. Okay, grab your box. Pull my eights. Starting with feet together. Push. Wide. Press. Tight. 
Nice. Okay. Plie bicep. Low, curl, turn, upright. Stay low for that curl. As you drive up, driving those elbows up. Step up, hammer. Okay, I'm gonna grab a sip here. Hammer curl at the top, shoulders back. Step curl. Down, down, switch legs. Squat abduction next. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna grab an eight for that. Just gonna toggle this. Okay. This one gets my heart rate up. Okay, squat, press, reverse. Low, abduct, low, reverse. More this side. Switch. Here we go. Frog chest is next. Oh, Nelly. That is work. All right, on your back. Use my twenties. Frog position on the legs. Knees out, feet touching. Here we go. Everything is up. Everything is down. with the 20s. That's work for me. 
Oh, Nelly. Okay, Woo. good. Let's go into that deadlift. Front release. My eights here. Work, work, hey? Pull those shoulders back. Low. Sit down. Everything is tight. After that last one, one more here. Switch legs. Oh, rest for eight seconds. One second. Up. Of course, you can repeat this whole thing for a full hour workout. That would be very adventurous. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you're gonna do. <laughs> I know some of you will, because you're like that. Monica, last exercise. Here we go. If I geared my brain to say I was doing 60 minutes, I could do it. But because I knew I was only gonna do 30, I, oh, I got an itch, sorry, go ahead. I don't know if I can now. You know, it's funny that way. Well, I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> this was good. I'm sweating. I feel worked. I hope you do too. 10 seconds, let's go. And almost there. Three, two, one, and done. And you, maybe the first workout of the new year, have moved daily with me. Thanks so much for joining. That was great. Join me for a stretch and a little chat if you can. If not, I'll see you in the next workout. I'm just gonna do a quick stretch today. Let's put one foot in front, one behind. Lean forward, lengthen through that calf. Hands behind the back and stretch the chest. Whew. That was fun, hey? I like that. I, I totally like how like you do 10, you're not repeating right away and it feels like you, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a repeat workout to me. Switch legs, push that heel down, lean forward, stretch the calf, this time round through the back. So what is your thoughts about New Year's resolutions? Do you make them? Are you keen on setting forth goals? In my membership group, we just talked about setting intentions. 
And I think that's really important. Um, let's come here, reach up, stretch your thumb to the ceiling. Because it's like the gratitude journal. Uh, the, the reason why something like the gratitude journal works is because you're avidly looking for things to be grateful for. Ergo, you find things to be grateful for. Switch sides. If you set intentions every day, your mind is conscious. You're in it. You're thinking, okay, today I've got to somehow make that intention come true. So you set your habits, you set your tasks toward helping yourself accomplish that. That's why I think it's really important to like buy a little mini journal, write that stuff down. Maybe it's a morning routine that you begin to develop. And part of that is doing a little journaling or writing your intentions for the day. And maybe it's only like three main things or one thing. Um, you know, not all of us are multitaskers, taskers, um, but, but even focusing on one thing can help us change the habits of our daily routine to ensure that we can check that off at the end of the day, right? Let's bring our arm across here. Um, so I encourage you to do that for the new year and maybe it's not resolutions. Maybe you're like, I don't believe in that. I'm not doing that, but it's again, we're all on a journey of trying to increase our wellness, our health, our nutrition, our fitness, and all of that takes a daily commitment to actually moving daily in those elements. So it's doing something every day that's again going to turn the ship in the direction of better health. A little quad stretch here. So if it's being intentional on drinking more water, if it's being intentional on prepping more protein, being intentional on uh, keeping track of your health appointments and making sure that those happen. All of those things will help you journey towards better health. And of course, I'm all about increasing self-awareness as well. I think that is, that is kind of like the underlying foundation to all of that. So the more work you do on yourself and understanding yourself, and you can do that through listening to TED Talks, by reading books. In my Amazon links below, I have my recommended reading list that I've read. And every time I read a new book, I just add it down there. And again, it's those things, arms back, thumbs down, that help you grow as a woman, as a man. And uh, yeah, isn't that what it's all about anyway, is just internal growth and growing and being a better human. That's what it's for me. All right, well, thanks for joining. That was a great sweaty little workout. Hopefully you will take this chat and do something daily today in your fitness, your wellness, or nutrition. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Hey, if you want something for tomorrow, I recommend this. Don't forget, you can check out our Organizer YouTube Workouts Advanced Edition 2.0. It's a new one month calendar of my YouTube workouts with some exclusive workouts that'll help you keep on track this month.